In this tutorial, let's take a look at the focus mode and how you can use it on your uh, iPhone because it's very simple. It's been available on our devices since iOS 15 and you don't really need to uh, like download or install anything. The way it works is that it simply appears in uh, the settings. So if you go right here, you're going to be able to find uh, the focus mode right there. It's in the section of four toggles in here. It looks uh, with the uh, or it appears with the icon of the former do not disturb mode or the night mode as some people call it it's pretty much a very similar thing just enhanced functionality that's why we have the moon in here because it used to be for the night only or for like not disturbing you during the night anyways you click on focus and you have a couple of different prepared or pre-installed uh, focus options so it's usually uh, that general do not disturb driving sleep work and personal but you have the option to add like a new one the option to add new one is by clicking on the personal so you can set up your own one and customize it to such a degree that it fits you 100 percent if you're okay with the predisposed version you can just turn them on and off and also customize those as well anyways let me first show you how we can enable it the first uh, way or the easiest one is by going to the control center and you can see the focus toggle appears right there you should have the option available in here because you cannot really remove it or reorganize it it's just always there and you can either click on the toggle right there on the circle or on this like the rectangle if you click on rectangle more options pop up and you can turn on a different one however if you click on right at the circle you can see right there it actually enables the work mode it's the latest one i've been using and the one i've used the most recently that's why it, it turns on the work mode so that's how you can turn it on if you want to disable it of course tap on the circle once again or tap on the rectangle all options show up and tap anywhere on the work and now you can disable it like that so as you can see you can choose choose and enable some different focus modes so that's good that you can do it right from the control center but it's turning it on it's not a, just as simple as tapping on the toggle because of course it turns it on but here you also have the three dots button next to it which does something that it shows you or it gives you the options to turn it on and you can turn it on differently you can enable it for one hour until evening or until i leave this location which for me it encountered that or like found out that i'm currently in work because that's like this the feature of the ios it kind of knows your location and you can choose it like that because that's really useful or you can go to the settings and we are now getting to the customization of of the actual focus mode because that was how you can turn it on and turn it off and some different options from the control center but this is how you can change it up and customize it according to your own preferences because the fundamental reason why the focus mode actually exists is to block some behavior or some phone calls or notifications whatever that is but to make sure that you are in peace or like you can focus so the settings include many different things for the regular do not disturb mode you can choose which apps and people are allowed so you can choose which people whenever they call you or do whatever they want they can reach you you can set it for your significant other or pretty much any person involved from your contact list and from apps the same thing you can choose the silencing for which apps and allowing for and from different apps so that's the really cool part so for the allow part you can add any apps that you want you can see all of them right there so you can choose which apps are always going to be allowed to give you notifications and, and like disrupt you from the focus mode and you can silence any of them from right there so that's how it works then when it comes to people of course the same two sections so allow some people and like silence others as well so you can allow from calls from the allowed people only from favorites from everybody from contacts only from card whatever that means so this is how you can enable and uh, like silence people and apps during your focus 
Then you also have the lock screen, uh, home screen and the Apple watch face. Because as you know, we have the option to change, like and customize our home screen looks and the way our apps are organized, the wallpaper that we use. And chances are that for the do not disturb mode, you don't want to see your widget, widgets which are distracting you or you don't want to see the weather and stuff and you want to have access to different apps. So that's why you can actually choose a different lock screen for that specific focus mode it is very useful because once you enter the do not disturb focus mode then your lock screen is gonna no longer look like the one you've seen previously but as the the one new one that you choose you can do the same for the home screen pages as well and interestingly enough even for the apple watch which is really cool that for example a lot of times you want to be in the fitness um, mindset all, all day but for example during the working hours you may want to be for the infograph which shows you some uh, important information for your work or whatever that is you can choose it for different stuff then you also have the scheduling which is also very useful for me you, you can see that the predisposed or like the prepared option is that from 10 p.m till 7 a.m it's just kind of like not allow anyone to disturb you because during that time you usually sleep so you can do it that way you can choose if the schedule is actually enabled or disabled choose the from and the to time and also choose the days during which it's going to be available or during which it's going to actually turn off or not. you can also delete the schedule right there because that's very useful and you also have some filters and stuff so you can use that and you can you probably noticed already that it looks very similar to, to the uh, apple ios shortcut app because it's pretty much the same thing you can set up some kind of automations and stuff so for example for forwarding emails or whatever you want to do you can change and set up anything that you want and yeah it's a bit more complicated so for most people that's probably not very useful and that's just one focus mode the same thing applies to all the other ones you can do some different things for sleep work in personal one you can even choose the customized personal one which of course shows you the same thing but it just gives you gives it like a different name so that's how you can use it as well so if you want to you can just delete it like that so uh, deleting it simply scroll down to the bottom delete focus tap on delete once again and now it's been disabled so it's no longer gonna appear right there so you also have share across devices, which I find to be very useful, especially if you have multiple uh, Macs and iPads and iPhones. So, so if you don't want to be disturbed, then chances are that you don't want to be disturbed on every single of your devices because you're being productive or something. So you probably don't want to limit it to one device only in case you do keep it turned off. But for the rest of the cases, just leave it enabled. Focus status means that for each individual focus, you can disable it or enable it. But it pretty much means that it's going to share uh, and let others know that you are in a, the focus mode. It's going to prevent them from thinking that you are like not replying or stuff so for example if you send someone an iMessage uh, text then they're gonna like see in uh, the actual in the actual chat that you are in your focus mode and that you are probably not gonna reply to that message because you cannot even see it so these were all of the settings which uh, are available in the focus mode and this is basically how you can use it for um, your everyday life and for being being productive so hope the video helped you out for more content like this make sure to subscribe to fox tech and also check out the next video right here thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later